Oh hi, didn't see you there. I know, I know, you want more Forge content, and I'm currently working on that. In the meantime, I got a few comments across YouTube and Reddit, and it got me thinking, what is the biggest warthog possible in Halo Infinite? Before we continue though, it must be said the entire credit for this video goes to Inferno Plus. Without him, this video would not have been possible. Oh, there's our first warthog now. I call it the Hot Hog. The Hot Hog is extremely low to the ground, and because its cambered wheels and giant wing is on the back, there have been some unforeseen defects. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting off track. We came here for some big hogs. So without further ado, I present the Super Hog. The Super Hog is five times the scale of a Warthog, and I have a feeling I should have done this on the Forge build of the game, because this is going to get out of hand pretty quick. You know what? That big Warthog really was something else. I should head over to the Halo Waypoint forums and tell them how good Halo Infinite is. Ah, what the fu- Hey guys, I are Batkid, and while Sickgen is recovering from having his frail ego absolutely destroyed by 343, I've taken over the video. Now this is what I like to call the Gat Hog, you know, because it has a big gun. A, a very big gun. And if that isn't obvious enough, I really don't know what is. Thank you. Subscribe to I Bad Kid. Ah, who let that guy in here? Am I right? Part of me wondered, what's the smallest warthog possible? And contrary to what you're seeing right now, this is not it. Due to some technical limitations, this is the smallest I was able to make it. If you guys actually want me to dive deeper into this in another video, please let me know down below. Oh, foo. It seems I lost the plot again. You didn't come here to see tiny things. You came here to see long, massive betrayal. I call it the Giganta Hog. Because of map limitations, collision had to be removed. Otherwise, it would not be able to function on this map. Be best assured, come Season 3, I'll be adding these all into the game with Collision. You know what's cooler than 343 fixing desync? This brand new Reverse Hog. The Reverse Hog is actually my favorite, and like, yeah, it's incredibly cursed. Has no place in the Halo lore, goes against the entire laws of physics, but at least it looks cool. And now you're probably thinking, Sikgen, what's that behind you? And dear friends, I couldn't tell you if I tried. It looks like a behemoth, so we'll just call it a behemoth. I know, it's not very original, but we still have a long way to go, so... I'm sure you'll forgive me, or leave me a mean comment down below. One of the two. I'm not sure. I don't know about you guys, but I loved watching early Dragon Ball. So I thought, hmm, how do I make the flying Nimbus Cloud in Halo? And then it struck me like a sticky to the face. Why not just use a Warthog tire? It's basically the same thing, right? Right? Do you hate walking places? What if I told you, with this new and improved Seg Hog, you and one buddy of your choosing will never have to walk again? If you do bring your friend, I hope you guys don't mind being a little close though. It can get a little cramped. At this point you're probably thinking, there has to be some theoretical limit to how big you can make a Warthog. And you'd be right. However, we aren't anywhere near that limit yet. I present to you, the super, great, big, mega, you know, just roll the footage. As I gaze upon Halo Infinite's player base, I ask myself, will anyone watch this video? Will anyone see my magnum opus? Is all my work for nothing? Does anyone care about the future of Halo? Wait, hold on, what is that?
Halo Infinite may be a complete train wreck. The 343 moderators may hate my guts, but we can't stop now. We have yet to see what the Slip Space engine is fully capable of. This hog I call the BattleBot hog, and if it isn't clear at this point, this game has limitless possibilities. It's just not being fully utilized in the base game as of yet. And here's the small hog's inbred cousin, the Goose Goose. It's not the most reliable thing in the world, or fast, or particularly useful, but it'll get you where you need to go, hopefully by the end of the game. As we just saw, the last hawk was the size of Deadlock, so in theory, that's our hard cap, right? But uh... <laughs> So, technically this got a little out of hand. At this size, the Warthog is basically bigger than every single map in the game. Moving is possible if you have the space, but we don't. If you try and spawn it inside the map, you aren't able to move as you become one with the Warthog. Alright, so this video has been really exhausting to make, so I got a few things to show before I show the biggest hog possible. I don't even know what to call this, so comment, do your thing. I was thinking about calling it a toast. But does that really make any sense? This is what I imagine you get when you fly Spirit Airlines. Next level comfort at its finest. The Wasp is literally your head, and if that doesn't sum up this video in a nutshell, I don't know what would. And now, the largest Warthog possible in Halo Infinite. 238 times the normal Warthog. Behold my power. I'd like to give a special thanks to IR Bad Kid for helping me out with this video. I spent a disgusting amount of time on something I thought would only take a day to make, and I was just wrong. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and let me know if this is something you want for future content. It really helps me have some sort of direction for this channel. Stay sick, my friends.